Get out of your as well. I got this lettuce and gear meter as my next restoration project. It's a genuine lettuce and gear made in Sweden, uh, Switzerland. 162.4 revolutions per kilowatt hour. 2 times 230 volts, so we'll take this cover off. Active in, active in, neutral out, neutral out. So it's just switch side. When you put your money in, that will close the contacts and switch your load on. And that's your supply, main um, active and neutral supply. So 2 times 20 amp air volt uh, current coils, so both of them is 40 amp air. Max load, 3 wire, 50 hertz. Type is HG1K and serial number is 27431291. Don't know what year it might be made. It could be 1927, so I don't know. It's definitely heavily um, heavy metal stuff, so it could be that old. It's a LG polyphase unbalanced load meter for two phases and each wire. And it's got ZL180123. Had all the screws missing off it, but I got this out of a junk box and it just so happens to fit perfectly as the uh, main cabinet screws so that's not really big of a, a bigger problem, I could source those. That's the um, it's an all metal, all steel, even the um, coin box is all steel. It's got a bit of a bend there but that's not really nothing to worry about, it's got a bit of paint and everything on it but guess I'll open this thing up and show you what it looks like inside. Alright well, viewers, uh, metal casings off. Very heavy stuff. And it's very, um, very well made. Here's the inside of that meter. It's got to make a stand for it. So there you go. Very heavy. So very careful with this. Got your two um, potential coils and your load or amps. So not very much. Um, this is a pretty light duty meter. So. Yeah, it's done. 50,581 kilowatt hours. And it's got 603 paid and 14 unused coins. So when you put your shilling in, that'll go in there. Turn that. According to the hour, you turn it that way. Which turns this that way. But I won't mess it up till I put a coin in and get a proper reading off that. It's got two load wheels. Oh, a dual, um, dual disc meter. And it drives off here. This little, um, looks like a PCB printed circuit board type substrate material. So it drives off that through to your main drive here, which drives to your, your readout, your reading. And all these number wheels are all made of, um, I think they'll be cast aluminium, although they look pretty clean, so they could be steel. But, uh, no, they I think they'll be cast aluminium. Even the Geneva wheels here on the back that flip the um, cogs here between the wheels are made of the same metal, so it's all steel gears. The little tiny scro uh, screws, everything is held together. Nothing's pressed in. It's a very well made meter. You got a little tiny screw here that locks the um, shaft on, and on this little drive wheel here, everything's screwed and grub screwed on, so it's pretty well made. The little drive gear on the load wheels, even separate to the main load wheel shaft here. Got a bit of muck on the magnets, but that will clean up nicely. Yeah. Bit of gentle blower compressed there will um, get that off. So, yeah. Let's try and turn this around. Got a serial number here 27431291. That must be the main earth thing, I'd say. There's no termination for earth down here. It must go up here to the earth. It isn't all metal, so it does need to be earthed. There's a little big heavy duty hook to hook it onto the wall. And you bolt it. Little lugs down here to bolt it to the wall. There's a rest. I get me a little light here so I can see more clearly. Yeah, the rest of the coin and change mechanism here. It's got 6D per kilowatt hour. That could mean 6 times, I'm not too sure. But it is pretty old. But yeah, very well made meter, so I'm gonna give this thing a good clean up. 
Then they're going to make some sort of stand to hold it up. Hook a load up to it and put some money in it and yeah, give it a test. It's got a bit of damage here too when I put the casing on so that's not going to be too hard to fix. So yeah. Uh, viewers, I got the um, wiring all done, the earth's on. Here's a proper um, Australian standard screw terminal. This is what we're using in Australia instead of those wire nuts that they use in America. These are a lot safer. This particular one is a, uses two screws. And these ones, are the two screw ones in particular, are used for earthing, earthing only. There's a set I've got in here. Give me little chicks here, little bits and pieces. These single ones are for your active and your neutral. So you put a couple of wires in there, screw the screw in, nice and tight, and you just tape it up. They're much more safer than the wire nuts. So I'm just going to put a um, plug top on to the supply wire and put a double outlet GPO on the load wire or a power point, I should say. The GPO is with the um, the proper industry standard name for it, but yeah, that'll work one of these. But um, I have to make a little box because I don't have any of these junction boxes, that's the only one I got. I'm gonna have to make a little um, block of wood like I've done in my ballast box here. So, yeah, before I get any further, I'm gonna find some more of these screws and more of these for the holder meter together. I'm going to use these, but shorter ones, because these are a bit too long. They'll fit there and they'll um, hold the terminal cover on, so that's how it wires up. Supply and load. This is your earth. So yeah. Okay, viewers, I found some appropriate screws. They all happen to be black and the exact same type. So that's perfect. Also found a matching pair, although this one is a slightly different that fit the um, terminal enclosure, so that's good. This muddy box is bloody hard to get out. You just cannot get it out, you're going to get a big screwdriver. Just wedge it and just work your way around, because it just locks in there really hard. You see the damage it's done there on the edges, so it does not want to let go. Now I did do this off camera, but yeah, I'll see if I can get a coin to fit in. Looks good, so I'll set that up right when I do that. Now there's a 10 cent pieces. I have a shilling in my... I've got a coin collection and I've got an old shilling for 90 and 10. I don't really want to just run that through here a bunch of times. That's kind of a bit of a rough keeping. So I'll, that happens to be the exact same size and thickness as a modern 10 cent coin. So 10 cent coins fit beautifully. Got a whole bunch from there. So. Yeah, the coin half's going to work. So yeah. Let's um, wire the plug on and wire the outlet on. I'm going to use it off this ballast box. I don't have any spares, so wire the power point on and yeah, let's hang this thing outside and see how it goes. Okay, viewers, so the power point's all wired up. Now I'm going to do a check for continuity for earth to the housing and earth to the power point. So this is the most important bit. Set that there, you should hear a beep. Uh, also, this money box slots in the bottom upside down and works as a good leg. So that's pretty good. Oh, it should beep when I touch the earth on the chassis of this meter box. Paint doesn't work, but on the metal it does. That's good, we've got earth and a power point. I'll just get closer. Just swap probes here because one probe is slightly damaged. There you go, we've got earth all the way, that's good. Now I'm going to um, put a load on this meter. Let's see what happens. Off camera, I put some money through there, so it's gone one, counted one more coin, so the contact should already be closed. So let's put a load through it and see what happens. A bit hard to set it load wheel, so yeah. Well, uh, wheels, it's plugged in, the power's on. Just to check, see if we've got voltage at this power point. So, I'll put this multimeter plugged in.
hertz, 50 hertz, so I've got the power there. It says 92.9 volts AC, that could be dirty contacts, but just to check, I'm going to plug a vacuum cleaner in it and see what happens. Uh, if you always going to put another corner in this, it's going to fall on the top of that, so let's see what happens. 16 now, and yeah, it's just not working. So I must have dirty contacts I've got to clean up in that switch here, so for now, thanks for watching. So I did a switch and everything in part two, so yeah.